He's already three centimeters dilated, 80% effaced. They were so impressed. He is doing such a great job. This man is preparing to give birth in one of the least LGBTQ plus friendly states in the U.S. The more they attack, the more visible I become. Jamel Ware and his fiance Alfonso Mills are a queer couple eagerly awaiting the birth of their first child. Jamel, a trans man, is carrying the baby they conceived without any aid. Our baby is much bigger than last year. It's so much bigger! <laughs> In a place where politicians filed seven anti-LGBTQ plus bills during the 2021-2022 season, what is it like for trans residents trying to conceive, birth, and parent in the Peach State? Jamel having to go into the hospital and having to have an F on his band because the medical system hasn't upgraded to be able to take care of trans people the way that trans people deserve to be treated. There needs to be a clear boundary between what you believe at home and, and how you treat your patients. What was it like being pregnant as a man? It was very emotional. It was very physically challenging. I mean, even the process of getting pregnant was uncomfortable. Having to ovulate and menstruate, that was, brought a lot of dysphoria to me, but it also made me more comfortable with my body. Jamel and Alfonso hired an affirming doula and say much of their medical care was supportive. Atlanta is considered a queer haven, especially for Black people in this conservative region. Outside of Atlanta, as a trans man, as a Black trans man, I don't find Georgia to be very safe. Despite Jamel and Alfonso's inclusive household, their baby C. Cannon's birth certificate has misgendered his birthing parent. It lists Jamel as his mother. Pregnant women are celebrated. Um, trans people are not. And to be a pregnant trans man just made me feel vulnerable in the world. Jamel and Afonso's baby wasn't due for six more weeks, but little C. Cannon debuted at 34 weeks because his dad had preeclampsia. He still hasn't made it home yet, but his parents are ready for him. I just would like to tell any trans guy who's thinking about having a family that it's possible. It won't be easy, but you shouldn't give up. This is part one in our trans fertility series on TikTok. Look out for part two from my show, Zip Codes with Imayan.